Hello, here on another episode of Coffee with Side of Tea. I'm Nick, and I have a guest today who is... My name is Selena. I'm one of the financial aid counselors here at HSU. Awesome. Thank you for being here today. So my first question for you is, how are you and your family during this quarantine? Um, I'm doing pretty well, um, considering I'm working from home. I'm pretty, I'm a, I would say I'm an extrovert, so it's, it's kind of been a little tough not being able to talk to people. And when I do finally talk to people, I just end up going off on like a tangent <laughs> just to, just to like speak. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, in the beginning, I'm not gonna lie, it was really tough. Like at one point I started talking back to my YouTube videos just so I can like talk. Um, right. But since I've adapted and whatnot and found other things to do with my time, um, I'm doing pretty well now. In regards to my family, um, I have a lot of family members that are in the medical field, so I do worry about them, um, mm -hmm. especially with them being in doctor's office all the time and still meeting with um, with patients, I guess. So, yeah. but as of this moment, they're all fine. They have just been kind of going with it. Wow, that's a lot. Well, thank <laughs> you. And I don't know if it's worth it, but thank your family for me. Like I find out so, such a great career. Like it's, I respect it so highly, all that they're doing right now. Yeah, um, my cousin is actually a nurse in Florida. So it's just okay. like, <laughs> be safe out there, wear your mask. Um, yeah. But, you know, they're going. All that stuff, yeah. Well, I'm glad that they're all healthy and hopefully they will stay healthy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think you kind of mentioned a little bit, but would you like to go a little more in depth about what you do to pass your time during this quarantine? Yeah, so um, I have recently got into rock painting. So I just like go to the beach and I find a rock that just seems like a good rock to paint. So yeah. I've been doing that. I used to like paint on canvas and whatever paper I had around, but it was mm -hmm. just kind of getting boring. So I saw a rock painting at one of the trails that I go on. I was just like, oh, that's really cool. So I started that. Um, I also play a lot of video games. So I've been playing, I've been kind of going through my three, I, be, I would play WoW, which is World of Warcraft. Um, Sims and a new game called No Man's Sky. So I've been mm -hmm. kind of doing a little bit of everything. <laughs> All right, sounds like a good time. <laughs> I'm sure you enjoy having your for your friends, and they enjoy having you at home more too. <laughs> yeah, I think they probably enjoy me being here a lot more than me actually being here. So <laughs> <laughs> it'd be like that. <laughs> Um, if you don't mind, would you like to tell us a bit about your daily routine? Yeah, so I do try to stick to my regular schedule like I like it wasn't like I was not working from home. So I still get up pretty early. Um, I shower, I change into some new sweatpants and a new sweatshirt. Um, and then I go to like my home office. Um, yeah. I still stick to the regular regular eight to five working hours and then like during my lunch, I usually clean a little, eat, and then also play with my dogs. Um, nice. And then after five, I usually go for a walk with my dogs. I try to go to open areas. That way I can, you know, avoid people if I run into them or at least stay the, the six feet apart. Mm -hmm. That's good. Moving forward. Um... Can you tell me a little bit more about what you do at HSU? Sorry, my, uh, the animals. Um, oh, you're good. <laughs> so I, um, like I mentioned, I am a financial aid counselor. Uh, so I usually award students financial aid based off of their FAFSAs. Um, I also advise, advise students based off of, um, about their financial aid and any questions they may have. That's basically like what I do. Nice. And has your um, role in that changed much since you've become a at home online worker with the quarantine? Yeah. Um, so our number one priority has always been to assist students and it remains that way even working remotely. 
-hmm. However, instead of students being able to just come in and speak to us, they have to email us. So our yeah. priority is still to assist students, but we're more email based. So we always try to answer our emails as soon as possible. Um, we even attempt to call students that same day or the following day, but it has slowed down some of our other things that we have to do in the office, but we're trying our best. Yeah, well, it's all you can do, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, all right, so this is my favorite question. Is there anything you'd like to share with our AQC community that might help us stay motivated, stay positive during these rough times? Yeah, so I think finding the little joys are important during this time. So that could be, trying new things, going back to a, a hobby that you quit some time ago, or even mm -hmm. watching TV. Basically doing whatever makes you happy, I feel like is very important during this time. So just do whatever makes you happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just stay entertained. It can get yeah. boring over here sometimes. <laughs> I always see um, these posts about how if you're not doing something um, new or productive, then you're wasting your time at home. And I don't believe that. Other There's other ways people can find joys. And if that is just watching TV, it shouldn't matter what they're doing yeah. with their time. They're being happy, basically. Um, yeah. So I, I just think whatever makes you happy, just do it. <laughs> Exactly. Mental health looks different for everyone. Everyone should just do what is best for them. Exactly. Not everyone can be productive and maybe that adds more stress onto them because they think they have to be productive when yeah. you don't have to. <laughs> yep. I've been told and I've been sharing every time I can that during these quarantine times, like I've heard it time and time again, I think it's really true that we need to lower our standards on work productivity because it's, difficult this transition and then having all these new things to uh, have to do like I don't know just as a student changing from in-person to online classes was real rough and for many people it's like that too so just lowering the bar I think is what a lot of people need to do yeah it's not having exactly not having such high standards um especially during this time especially since you can't really go outside so yeah it's really hard. It's a hard time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Plus, we, I'm sure we both miss seeing people and just talking to people. You say you're an extrovert, so that's also a very big emotional toll on us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to agree there. <laughs> um, so, everything seems to be going through Zoom, Zoom University now. What's your experience been with Zoom? <laughs> It's been interesting. I enjoy seeing everyone because, like I said, I just like to talk all the time. Yeah. Um, but I also miss being able to just see them on campus and stop and talk to them. And like I said earlier, uh, my dogs basically bark at, bark at everything. Um, so when they go off, it can be a little bit too much to like mute them so it's not hurting my coworkers' ears um, yeah. and trying to get them to stop barking. Um, but after each meeting, it basically reminds me that I'm stuck at home and I don't know when it's going to end. Um, mm -hmm. so it is, I, do, I do feel my mood kind of lower because like, once again, I'm, I just like to talk to people and the fact that I can't just do that kind of yeah. lowers my mood, but then I just have to remind myself it's not going to be forever. It's going to eventually be over and I'll be back. Yeah, exactly. So, um, Someone else I read today said something that I thought was really accurate. Like we have to get this, get through this all together. Like it's not going to be forever, and we need to just like come together as a community. Yeah. Even if we're at a long distance, like I'm guessing you're probably still in Humboldt County. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Are you still in Humboldt County? Yeah, I'm still in Humboldt. I'm in Arcata, yeah. actually. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, and I'm. I had to move back to the Bay, but then we're still. I still have like somewhat of a connection with the school by doing these interviews. So that's like what helps me get through it. So all these small things, like you said, finding the small things to help you get through it. Exactly. Great. <laughs> um, and have you had any funny or silly moments using Zoom? Um, I think a couple of weeks ago, I had a Zoom meeting with all of enrollment management. There was like a hundred plus people in it. It was, it was pretty cool. Wow. Um, but basically during this meeting, it was not, it was like an informal, meeting um but we got to introduce our fur babies and 
and you know they're right. human babies um and then someone showed two ducks so that was really yeah. fun and cute and i low-key wanted to get a duck afterwards but <laughs> you know rationally that doesn't actually make any sense for me but i really wanted to be duck, so that was probably yeah. the my funnest um meeting because I got to see everyone's fur babies and human babies too so I really enjoyed that and I also got to show mine off so yes <laughs> that's a good show them off yeah. <laughs> and yeah I, I got a friend who has um I have a friend who just got two ducks also and that's really I saw him grow up and he grew up so fast it's crazy <laughs> it's really crazy how cute they are <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I remember when I was younger, we had a duck, and I think my uncle just like brought it home. I, I don't remember how we got it, but we had a good duck, and it was a pretty fun experience. We made a little pond in our backyard and everything. So that's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Second to last question. Uh, why did you choose to work at HSU? Yeah, so I um, used to attend HSU and I graduated from there and I my, personally myself, I had a pretty good experience. Um, so I kind of wanted to continue to be a part of HSU. And I also really loved the area. So that was another motivation for me to stay. Um, I am from a small desert town called California City. And it's basically in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. So <laughs> I really wanted to come to a place that had trees and grass um, and the grass was like the main part because like basically in Cal City, the second you walk on the grass, it dies. Um, <laughs> so I really wanted to stay in a very green area. Um, and although I don't like the ocean, I like to go to the beach and look at the ocean. So mm -hmm. really my motivation was to be a part of HSU and also the area. That's awesome. Yeah, you found the greenest place you can be in California, if you ask me. <laughs> yes, exactly. That has reasonable, like, like where I'm from, just to go to the movies, you would have to drive 45 minutes. So the fact oh, that I yeah. could either go to McKinleyville or Eureka, and it's only, or even go to the, the minor theater, but it's only a few minutes away was just a big, like, improvement, basically. Yeah, that's something I missed for sure, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here in the Bay Area, everything's like at least 10 to 15 minutes away. When in Arcadia, everything felt like five minutes away. Yeah. At any one point. <laughs> it's pretty great how close everything is. And even like back where I live, to go to a decent, affordable grocery store, mm -hmm. it, was, it was a bit of a drive, at least 45 minutes to go to like the next town. So. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Impressive survival skills then. <laughs> It definitely makes me appreciate being up in humble. And I'm not going to lie. I tell everyone that I absolutely hate driving to Eureka because I really dislike the safety corridor. But when I actually yeah, okay. compare it back to where I used to live, I'm like, okay, I guess it's not that bad. But yeah. That <laughs> yeah, that safety corridor is something that a lot of people don't have very fond opinions of <laughs> yeah. including myself it seems like forever you have to get past that <laughs> in actuality it's only like probably 10 minutes but it seems way longer and yeah. if I can avoid going to Eureka I will try <laughs> yeah you know we both will <laughs> <laughs> all right well my final question is I see a series of questions of this or that it's a speed round what? so when you're ready all right. All righty. So, coffee or tea? Coffee. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Although I have a cat, I kind of feel bad because she's she's literally looking at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> but like, how dare you? <laughs> a dog, yeah. <laughs> uh, rain or sun? Sun. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles. The theater or cinema? Mm, that's a tough one. <laughs> uh, I guess it kind of just depends on my mood, but mm -hmm. also it's playing. 
Oof, that's a tough one. Can I pass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can neutral on that one. <laughs> I'm neutral on that one. I've taken a couple of that on the next question, which is uh, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Nice. Pepsi goes um, flat the second you pour it, so. <laughs> uh, singing or dancing? Oh, man. I like to do both, even though I'm bad at both. <laughs> um, I feel that. So, <laughs> both. There you go. <laughs> um, Dutch Bros or Starbucks? I've actually never had Dutch Bros, which is kind of like. Wow. I know, right? So, Starbucks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your answer. <laughs> uh, what's worse, laundry or dishes? Dishes. Especially now, I'm realizing how much I actually use in dishes. And <laughs> Yeah, I'm basically yeah. washing dishes every day, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got nothing better to do anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Toilet paper on the over or under position? Over. All righty. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the ocean or mountains? Mountains. But yeah, now you just said, there you go, mountains. <laughs> I actually have a, a fear of the ocean, um, like, especially with drowning. And I also don't know what's really in the ocean and currents also freak me out. So it's Definitely. all bad. <laughs> yeah, it's all bad. <laughs> I like to look at it from a good distance away. Yeah, like it's pretty, but from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my last question is uh, breakfast or dinner? Dinner. All righty, even for breakfast, dinner for breakfast? Yeah. Yeah, I think um, I don't. I'm not the biggest fan of eggs, and a lot of breakfast has just like scrambled eggs or whatever. And yeah. a lot of breakfast is also super sweet, which I'm mm -hmm. not. I don't like sweet stuff for breakfast. Um, and yeah, yeah, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I concludes my questions. Do you have any questions? Or anything else you want to share? Um. Not that I can think of. <laughs> totally acceptable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, sorry, my get off. My dog was just laying on my leg, but <laughs> you're good. That's about it. Um, cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. we can just conclude the meeting there. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate this talk. It was great talking to you. Yeah. I really enjoyed this. I think it's great that um, you guys are doing this. Is there going to be a way for us to view it? I'm not sure how it's going to come out. Yeah, uh, the plan is to uh, upload it on YouTube and we're going to post it on our social media, mainly Instagram, okay. and uh, we'll be available for everyone that way. Okay, I'm excited to see it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> awesome. Nice talking to you. See you around. Bye. Have a great day. You too.